Hi there, this is David, and happy Thanksgiving! I'm coming to y'all with an autumn sale. This is the Steam Autumn Sale going from November 22nd till the 29th, and there's a bunch of stuff on sale here. And uh, I just kind of want to go through it with y'all and uh, look around and see what there is to purchase here. I personally hardly ever buy anything on Steam unless it's on sale, because, you know, yeah, everybody's watching their pennies nowadays, and these Steam sales come by quickly enough that I just kind of put stuff onto a wish list and then I wait for it. So let's see what we got here. Players like me love. Oh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night is on sale. Wow, 65% off, $14. That's like a Castlevania type game. Tales of Asperia, 80% off, only $10. A Castlevania Advance Collection. $12. Nino Kuni Remastered, only $10, 80% off. Wow, Tales of Arise, $24, 60% off. Very, very cool. Let's see what else there is down here. There's some stuff on my wish list that's um, going off right now, too. The Sword and Fairy that I've heard a lot about, 30% off. That's not far enough down for me. Um, this Turtle Shredder's Revenge, 20% off at $20. I might pick that up. We shall see. They have some DLC over here for sale as well. Gives you some top sellers, most of which I don't care about. Although Persona 5 uh, Royal's on sale for 30% off at $42. That's not a bad deal right there. Yakuza Like a Dragon. If you have not played Yakuza Like a Dragon, you are missing out. This does not play anything like a typical Yakuza game. It plays more like a Dragon Quest game. $21, you cannot go wrong. That was fantastic whenever I played it, uh, whenever it first came out. I was really, really thrilled about that. Let's look and do some categories here. Let's go by JRPG and see what we can't find here. Again, with Tales of Arise. Oh my gosh, Persona 5. Monster Hunter Rise, 50% off. Persona 5 Strikers, 60% off. Triangle Strategy, this like just came out for the PC, and that's 30% off. I know that a lot of people were saying, you know, that it's pretty verbose and they talk a lot in there, but man, if you want a good strategy game, look no further than Triangle Strategy. That was pretty fantastic. Persona 4 The Golden, only $13? Wow. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, that was pretty fun. Open world anime Dragon Ball type game, only $15. And I know that I have said a lot about the Atelier series um, in the past, and yeah, I think that a lot of it was warranted, but I tried Atelier Ryza pretty recently, and I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. And Ryza, as well as Ryza 2, are both 50% off right now. I've played Ryza, I have not yet purchased Ryza 2. Um, I might want to pick that one up, I haven't seen it for 50% off, so maybe I will. I really really liked Ryza 1. Code Vein is a piece of garbage. Ignore it and avoid it at all costs. Scarlet Nexus, though, whole lot of fun. Loved, loved that one. I've heard good things about Atelier Sophie 2, um, insofar as it's more like Ryza, I guess, that it's less into the crafting and more into the world building and characterization and the battles and the exploration which is what I liked about Ryza. So uh, maybe after I pick up Ryza 2, I might go and pick up uh, the Atelier Sophie series. And then there's more down here. If you haven't picked up um, like the Integrade, that's on sale. If you're into MMOs, those are on sale as well. Let's see what else. Oh, well, this isn't on sale, but Tactics Ogre Reborn is now on the PC. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, there's just so much stuff here. Um, I've heard about this Temtem game before. I don't know a lot about it, but essentially it's like, fr from what I've been told, it's like Pokemon, but just better. Like, I feel like sometimes Game Freak gets a little bit lazy with Pokemon, if you know what I mean. So this is like a Pokemon with the volume turned up. So that's what I've heard about uh, that. Potion Permit. I got this one for free. It was, um, I won it in a contest. I 
said I was going to play it, I still haven't opened up the game, so I <laughs> haven't played it yet, so I really have no comment on Potion Permit, but it looks to me like it's kind of generic. I don't know. Um, I'll have to give it a shot one of these days. I have it. Harvestella, not on sale. Shocking. But man, did I love it. Very, very cool. Uh, let's see. We'll do one more and see what else we got. Oh, man, Star Ocean isn't on sale. Ah, this should be on sale. This was so much fun. Um, it's up there as one of my games of the year. It really, really is. Whoa! Tales of Hesperia, uh, $10. Tales of Bursaria, $5. Oh my gosh. Man, to think that I spent $60 on both of those games, and here they are for, like, jump change. Oh my gosh. Man, get these Tales games. They are so good. Neo The World Ends With You is 25% off at $45. I was never the biggest tweeny fan in general. Um, I'm just bringing this up because, you know, if you're a fan, hey, have at it. I will be, of course, skipping this because I just didn't really like it all that much. Anyway, Mino Kuni 2, Reverend Kingdom, 85% off. Nice, $9. Not bad, not bad, not bad. The Nocturne Remaster, 55% off. Man, they are just, oh, these deals. If I had these deals whenever I was a kid, I would never have been bored. I've been playing so many games, it would have been ridiculous. But I only had what I got on Christmas and my birthday, you know. Um, Soul Hackers 2, eh. I don't think it's worth the $42, but it's there. Let's see. I've heard good things about this Digimon Cyber Sleuth Complete Edition, and for $13, I don't think that you can go wrong if you are a fan of Digimon. Let's see what else we got down here. Digimon Survive, though. Ugh! Steer clear! Oh my god. This could have been the worst game that I played all year long. This thing was hard or bad. I don't Oh, You couldn't give that away as far as I'm concerned. Tales of Zestiria, only $5. I would play the other Tales games first before you play Zestiria. It's one of the worse ones, um, unfortunately. Yeah. Let's see what else we got. 40% off the Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 4. Not bad, not bad, not bad. These Yakuza's are uh, pretty cheap too. Yakuza 3 Remastered, $7? Wow. Same thing with Yakuza 4 Remastered, only $7? Man. Huh. Okay. Okay, all the Legend of Heroes games look like they are 50% off. We have Trails of Cold Steel 50% off, Trails in the Sky 50% off as well. Unfortunately, no sale on Octopath Traveler or Dragon Quest S. 60% off Trails of Cold Steel 3. That's pretty cool. Wow, so many things on sale. So many things on sale. 35% off Trails in the Cold Steel's second chapter. If you haven't gotten into the Trail series, now is the time. These are on sale. Well then, Ken calls the most inopportune times, but I'm not quitting my recording just for that. Um, <laughs> what was I talking about? I was talking about the Trail series. Yeah, now is the time to pick these up if you haven't gotten into it. Trails of Reverie is coming up next year, so you might as well spend some time over these holidays and catch up. Ease 9, Monster Knox, 30% off, totally worth it. Tales of Symphonia, 75% off, only $5. I cannot believe that they are selling this for $5, but then they're going to sell a, an HD remaster of this game for the Switch next year. That will go for full price. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Yeah, that whole thing is kind of ridiculous. Um, we have Atelier Sophie, 30% off, Valkyrie Chronicles 4. This is a, um, strategy RPG, a very, very good one, only $10. You might want to pick that up. It looks like we're getting to kind of the bottom of the barrel stuff over here. Only 25% off Chosen Sky 3rd? Interesting. I don't know how they come up with these pricings, I've got to say. Like, some are 50% off, some are 25% off. I don't know. I don't know. Just interesting. So, yeah. Um, I just wanted to come to y'all and show you that there is just an embarrassment of riches out there of games that you can purchase during this sale that lasts till the 29th. And um, basically, I just want to come to you, let you know that this sale exists, 
and um, hope that I was helpful in your decision-making process. And as always, have a good day and as well as a great Thanksgiving.